And next up is going to be All Trades, book number one, Master of None, written by Shane Walker. Um, it is 332 pages, $2.99. It is available on Kindle Unlimited. And here's the author's description. Alex is broke. He's pretty much always been broke. A misspent youth led to mistakes with led to convictions and plea deals. No career, no education, no hope. Now is the chance to make things right for him and his family when the newest immersive MMO comes with the ability to convert money earned in-game into real currency. Well, it's cryptocurrency, but that's real-ish, right? Seeing an opportunity, Alex joins the realms as Jack Alltrades, looking to make money any way he can. He may be a master of none, but he's determined to learn every way possible to make money and turn his life around. Along the way, he'll find answers to important questions like, Can he win Employee of the Month? Do gnomes dream of electric sheep? How many kobolds does it take to swing a pickaxe? Can NPCs commit tax fraud? Okay, maybe he won't answer most of those, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't come or come follow the high margin adventures of Jack All Trades. So there we go. It's actually a humorous story. Uh, and I want to give a quick shout out to uh, thanks to Felicity on YouTube for recommending this to uh, to the podcast. Okay, the review. Um, this is a good slice of life story with the main character who, during character creation, trades any chance to use magic with enhanced for enhanced learning and faster skill gains. Uh, it's a min-max story that initially is pretty normal with action and adventuring, but later shifts to something else, adding rather thick middle and late sections with crafting, resource management, and gold-making aspects. And so it kind of ties into that cover a little bit more. Um, on the game mechanic side, it's fairly normal with the exception of jobs. Um, in addition to class levels, like in the Final Fantasy Tactic games, um, players get an initial class, but they can also gain jobs based on the skills they level and can swap those jobs for special bonuses, but they can only have one job equipped at a time. Um, however, the player can only advance one job or class at a time. It's a mechanic I, I've always liked, um, and I don't think that it's quite used to its fullest here, um, but I think it has a good serious potential to keep the RPG progression going in an interesting way and like seeing how these different combos work out. Um, I think that's an interesting aspect of the story. Um, overall, it's a good story if you're into crafting and resource management stuff. Um, the combat and fighting aren't the main focus of the novel, so you're not going to get a ton of that. You get a little bit in the beginning and a little bit towards the end, but again, most of the middle is going to be crafting, resource management, kind of job stuff uh, to make gold. And it's interesting if you're into that kind of stuff. If you're not into that kind of stuff, the middle might not be as interesting to you. Um, so there you go. I had a good time with it, though. Um, gets a score of 7.6 out of 10 for me. Um, that's all trades book number one, Master of None, with a score of 7.6 out of 10.